This is a chat to Three Island, and we're about to explore every inch of it. If you're excited for this exploration, smash a thumbs up button in this super long video. We're going to be looking at every new weapon, all named new POIs, Spider-Man's new mythic, the secret return of Tilted Towers, taking on the boss foundation to get his exclusive mythic weapon, and turning the map from this grayed out image to be completely unlocked for you guys to see everything. Let's just waste no time and jump straight into it. As you can see, we've got a volcano, icy area, desert area, a giant statue of the foundation himself. We're going to head on straight down and explore the far right hand side of the map and take a look at absolutely everything. <gasps> the visitor is on the map. Yeah? Okay, he doesn't want to talk to us very much. I believe his location is going to be instrumental in the continuation of the Fortnite Chapter 3 story. It looks like we've got, like, launch pad areas for all of the seven members right here. Let's start exploring inside. There's new weapons, weapons with red dot sights, new snipers, so much to see. Oh, my... Wait, what the... Collect the device. <gasps> what the heck? We're going to collect a device? The last time we heard of a device in Fortnite, it was Midas using it. Look at what we have got here. A brand new weapon. Stinger SMG. Fully automatic. Fires at a high fire rate. 22 damage per shot. We've got also a med mist. Heal yourself or allies on the go. I hate to do this to the foundation, but it's the very first chapter three weapon we have got. So you are going to be the tester subject, my friend. Are you ready for this? Whoa! Yo, this thing is pretty good, you know. Let's build up on here. Keep on using it. We've got tons of ammo. Another chest as well. This thing absolutely slaps. New assault rifle. It looks like the AK, but it's called, if we take a look here, the Ranger Assault Rifle. Fully automatic, flexible assault rifle. Woo! Ooh, okay, let's give this thing a go as well. Oh, it takes a long time to go fully accurate. Reset quite quickly. Slow fire rate. I kind of consider this like a slightly different version of what we've already seen with the AK. This place looks awesome. It's so open scale-wise. The map is pretty much identical to what we've seen with chapter one and chapter two. We've already got Christmas bushes. Guys, it's not Christmas yet. A chest inside. You know what? I will take it. <gasps> Auto shotgun. Yes, please. This is a brand new shotgun as well. I'm telling you, my loadout is looking cracked right now. Stick around to the end of the video to see an exclusive version of what this map will look like without the snow in it. You don't want to miss it. Sharks are back in the game. Hello, buddy. Spider-Man versus Shark. Whoa. One of the brand new movement features is sliding. And if you hold down the crouch button, look at that. You can slide upwards. Obviously, gravity doesn't really work like that. Can you slide and shoot? Oh my gosh. I feel incredible. The foundation, we love you. He's got a giant slipstream around him as well. Look at this. Look, I know you're the rock and everything, but don't you think a giant statue's a little bit excessive? Oh, birds are back in, in the game as well. And you can get loot from them just like in chapter two. Good to know. Oh my gosh, the way Spider-Man pulled out. Did you see that? That glide, that was sick. The foundation, he's an NPC. Visitor and the foundation on the map. Hello? Good sir? He, he won't even talk to me. I'm gonna come back and take you down. He drops a mythic weapon. His own mythic just for the foundation. Once we've looted up and explored the island, he'll be our final person to take down. You do not want to miss that, guys. Are these symbols for all of the seven? There's so much lore and storyline to explore. What can we get from another legendary chest? Can we get the new sniper? Ooh, SMG again. Look, I'm loving the SMG already, but I've already got a legendary one. Part of the map that we're in is called the Sanctuary. It looks re- Wait, what the? Who is that fella? It's like specifically- I'm gonna try my shotgun on you. Oh, okay. Slow firing, packing a punch. You now get different hit markers, by the way, for when you get headshots with shotguns. So if you see those yellow hit markers, that's what it means. I wanna try this healing. Yo, that's so sick. That's so cool. Ammo boxes are just as we're used to seeing. This healing device is awesome. What are we going to get? Ooh, okay. We just tried the heavy shotgun. This is the striker pump. 
This is basically gonna be the new chapter three pump weapon, ladies and gentlemen. 100 damage, slow fire rate. This is basically, you know, what we're gonna get used to is the pump. The old OG pump is not in the game. As far as I'm aware, all of the original weapons are not in the game anymore. We're gonna make our way all the way across to the mountain, which is where the daily bugle is, which is the character I'm using right now. Spider-Man's hometown within Fortnite chapter. Oh! <laughs> Just got the hunter bolt rifle as well. Now, fun fact. People have worked out that when you line up the area and location of the mountain here, which is where the daily bugle is, it lines up exactly with the volcano and also the mountain that was in chapter one as well. So all of these chapter places are connected, even in chapter three. Even the sky at nighttime looks so sick. There it is. Oh my gosh, my first time going here with you guys. The sun is coming up. Oh my gosh, there's water in it. There's a zip line in it as well. Now, the question is, is Spider-Man's mythic here? And can we... Wait a second. Oh, you know what I've realized? This is the ranger assault, right? Wait, guzzle juice? Wait, 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 wait. Slowly restores health until fully healed. Effects are moved when damaged. Oh, that's sick. Two new healables, but... This is another new weapon, the MK7 Assault Rifle. Guys, are you ready for this? This is the world's first in Fortnite. You can use a red dot sight. You can literally aim and shoot this thing. And it is pinpoint accurate to where you are shooting. I think this is probably the sickest, coolest. Is this blue version? Like, greatest assault rifle potential we've had in the game. With a really, really good fire rate as well. Sidearm pistol. New as well. Damage-wise, probably not too different to what we've seen in the past. But welcome to the Daily Bugle, people. Now, you know what I'm noticing? Is that it isn't covered in cobwebs. And in the trailer cinematic for the start of chapter three, it was covered in cobwebs. If this gives me very like Gotham kind of vibes, like almost tilted kind of vibes as well. Tilted we'll take a look at and talk about a little bit more later on in this video. I've not had any traps so far. Ooh, splashes confirmed to have been returned. What the? What is that? I've got to go and explore that. Is this a mythic? What the? Fortnite, you're teasing us. I think I could potentially be... Uh, maybe not the highest point of the map. One of. We're going to make it to the highest point soon, though. Ooh, the Daily Bugle looks like it's got a bit of extension work going on. Spider-Man's head! They hate us. I'm here. Nothing you can do about it now, buddy. Dude, this place is big. This is almost like Tilted V2 for the moment. Secret underground part of the Daily Bugle. Oh my, there's so many layers to it. It is absolutely huge. I don't think Spider-Man's Mythic is in-game quite yet. According to the leaks, I'll throw up a picture of what his Mythics will look like. It is literally Spider-Man's arm. Cobwebs will start to appear around the map and we'll be able to get it most likely from right here. Make sure you subscribe to see that, guys. You do not want to miss it with all the updates coming out for Chapter 3. Oh, what's that? Want to traverse around the map? Just going to go ahead... Oh my gosh, this adds such a cool dynamic to Fortnite. This is incredible. We are now making our way over to Corny Crossroads, just to the left-hand side of where we've come from. Look at this. Brand new gas stations. Our very first trap to be confirmed in Chapter 3, the Armored Wall. Look at this place. It's almost Spider-Man themed with the way that it's red and blue. We've got another NPC here as well. Another one of those blue stones. And we've yet to try out this sniper. Look, I don't like taking down and eliminating NPCs, especially ones made of ice cream. Oh! Oh my god, no, these weapons. These weapons are so good! Can we get a legendary version? Ooh, strike a shotgun. No, we've already got that. Dude, I'm gonna have to take some damage so I can use these new healables as well, just to see how they work. I'm loving this place. It's got like a good amount of openness. It reminds me of Salty, like just in the way that all of the areas are laid out, I'd say. Can you go underneath this building a bit like Salty? Eh, you know, it's, it's always worth a try. I'm sure there's gonna be so many map secrets to uncover as we explore this chapter even more. Keeping an eye out for new vehicles and new cars as well, because you know Fortnite like to hide things in all kind of 
places. Some of this doesn't seem to be fully built yet, which I quite like. It makes me think that this map is going to start evolving like very, very soon. One thing I wasn't massively keen on at the start of chapter two is just nothing happened for absolutely ages. But a lot of these buildings feel like could change within the first week or so. I got to see if there's any new fishies as well. No doubt there'll be some fishies that we have never seen before in chapter three. Could give us some really cool effects that we've never had the option to have as well. Now, you may be thinking, oh look, some trees here. No, I believe these are the new chapter three trees. Sounds ridiculous, I know, but if you see my video reacting to the chapter three trailer, you'll know that these things actually react differently to normal trees. You see this giant one here? If I hit it, wait for it to break. Look, 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 look. Ooh. Whoa! You can, like, interact with it. These trees are different to the normal ones that you break. Look! Look! Oh, my... Yo. The more I hit it, the more it breaks as well. Oh, you can yeet the logs. Look, and I just crushed it. Yo, imagine getting a kill by pushing one of those down onto someone. You'd feel like an absolute go. Now, what if I told you Shifty Shafts was back? And apparently boars are as well. Hello, buddy. Really sorry, but uh, you got to do what you got to do when you got those new weapons in your hand. Is this any different to the chapter one? Yep, it's a chapter one POI, just in case you didn't know. It looks very, very similar. This layout, I can definitely recognize. Another device piece. There was a secret entrance here. Yep, just where I remember it, people. Just where I remember it. Oh, legendary version. So this version of a sniper does 95. This version does 99. Interesting. I, I quite like this change. So that means snipers at the moment in chapter three cannot one shot hit you if you're running around with another one of these by the way 100 hp or 100 hp 100 shield because the body does 99 and a headshot does 190 or so so less than enough to kill you i think that means that snipers will become less annoying and oh my gosh it's so cool to revisit this old location it's back baby hello Oh my gosh, the snipers, that's sick. The reload animation's sick. This is new. This is like an extension. Oh, whoa. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and pick up the fishing rod to see if we can get any new fishies. Definitely haven't seen this before. This is like a new extension of the mines. It's telling us to not go in. What do we do? Obviously ignore it. Oh my gosh. Gosh. Yeah, this is brand new. Holy, you could get lost down here. It's filled with loot, though. Are you kidding me? That's a new design as well. Well, this is a great place to come and loot. And where do you come out? Do you come out on the mountain above it? Yo, so you come out above it. Damn. You know, I talked about being on the highest point of the map. I think maybe your boy has made it to the highest point. And there's two chests to greet me there. <gasps> My first chapter three llama. Come here. Come here, llama. Oh my god, yeah, 198 accidental llama headshot proving that you can not get killed if you get even a headshot or a body shot, assuming that person has got maxed out health and shield. Let's see if this guy dropped anything new. He could have in some different. Oh, 14, that's useless. You know what? SMG will finish the job here. Anything else? Chili Chug Splashes are back. Just heals apart from that. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Sleepy Sound. Apparently, everyone here is very, very sleepy. It's absolutely huge. Multicolored buildings with their own river boats. They've got a very similar gas station to Corny Crossroads as well. Boats are confirmed vehicles back in the game. Apparently, ATKs are back as well, people. If we find one on our journeys of exploring Chapter 3, you'll see it right here first. Lighthouse is back. It's not technically Lockie's Lighthouse anymore. Sorry, Lockie. Now, I'm hearing rumors of Sunny Steps returning as well. We're, we're talking Chapter 1 here. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing it in the distance. Oh, launch pads are back. 
Gimme, 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 gimme. My first chapter three launch pad. That is the one, one trap that I was really hoping would return. And it is. Yo, this makes so much sense. Because the Daily Bugle is where the volcano was in chapter one. And Sunny Steps, chickens also back in the game. Sunny Steps was just next to where the, where the volcano was. So this is taking a lot from chapter one so far in what we have seen. Oh my gosh. It doesn't look to be... In fact, this looks different. This isn't even the same as Sunny Steps that we had in chapter one. Yeah, wow. Oh my... Oh, okay. Yeah, this is this is definitely different. Sunny Steps is back, people. I, I did not think I'd be saying that. Our very first super chest of chapter three. What the... Why is there just chug jug barrels everywhere here in Slurpy Step? He's got one in his eye and he's eating one. This place has gone weird since I've last been here. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to Log Jam. What a very cool logo. Log Jam Lumber Yard. This is located in the top left-hand corner of the Fortnite map. And we'll find lots of lumber here and lots of logs. This is going to be fantastic for harvesting. Oh, new wood slabs. Oh, my. Yes, 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 yes. Chapter three. Look at the... Oh, my. Dude, are you kidding me? There's enough wood to, for 5,000 players, let alone one measly Spider-Man player like me. Wait. <gasps> Gears of War Easter Egg. That is not a coincidence. That is the Gears of War game logo right there. I just spotted it. Tiny, tiny Easter Egg. I easily could have missed that. We are getting a Gears of War collab. If you didn't see me reacting to the trailer for Chapter 3, we actually saw the skins in there as well. Any more fruit? Okay, Pepper. You know what? I'll take it. So that confirms it will be getting them most likely in the item shop. Do not forget you can support me for picking up the battle pass or anything that comes out in Chapter 3 by popping in code Alley A in the Fortnite item shop. It just takes a second and it massively supports me. Our first fishing patch. Okay, let's see if we can get a brand new Chapter 3 fish. What will my very first fish be? Is that a puffer fish? Okay, look, buddy. I know you're shocked to be in Chapter 3 suddenly. Oh, yo, look at those effects. Kind of like, like fog and mist. Oh, yo, it's the return. It's the Christmas house. Yes, it's made its return. Uh, we should be getting Winterfest this Christmas. Oh, the infamous Christmas tree. Giving us three. Oh my gosh. Giving us the good stuff right there. Do you reckon we can finish this video with a all legendary loadout? Look at another chest. Two. They've made it even more OP. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen it here first. Land just under Log Jam Lumberyard to get very good loot. Wait a second. Does this guy guarantee a llama spawn? Or is this just really, really lucky? Because look, it's it's a llama. You hurt a loot llama, you're going to have to deal with me. Maybe this is a 100% loot llama spawn chance. If I shoot the llama, does he actually care? Now look, mate, you'll, you'll talk, aren't you? <laughs> you'll talk. Oh, gosh. I regret this. You're bigger than scarier than me. I take it all back. Guys, I'm climbing the biggest mountain in Fortnite Chapter 3. Just look. It looks huge. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to make it to the top. I'm going to place down a flag. And it's going to have the Alley A logo on it. And everyone's going to know your boys made it up here. So far, we have gone all the way over the left side of the map. We're about to go all the way over the other half. We're not done yet, guys. Stick around. We are exploring everything. Why don't we go ahead and use my very first launch pad of Fortnite Chapter 3. Dude, that's like the Wailing Woods little thing that you could land on. This is Camp Cuddle, everyone. They've got their own little lake. They've got a giant tree house. They've got loads of the new breakable trees. Lots of very pink, colorful buildings. Can I presume that the cuddle team leader will be found here? Let me in. The most excessive way to get in. Oh, it's the metal team leader. Hello, flesh friend. Yes, it is I, Spider-Mon. So sick we jump straight into the chapter with all of the snowy bits already here. I've got to go up this. I haven't been up. Well, there, there was an even bigger one in chapter two, to be fair. But I haven't been up here yet in chapter three. All right, chapter three. Everything needs to be experienced for the first time. What loot? Oh my god, it's quite small up here. It really is like the original one. Oh, the, it's in here. There we go. Oh, we did it. We did it. We got an all legendary loadout and the exact gun I wanted as well. Giant antenna up there. 
Who's that person trying to contact? Trying to get all the HD channels into their TV room. Now, the place that we're going to, I think, is very exciting. We talked about the fact that the mountain at the Daily Bugle lines up exactly with the volcano area from Chapter 1. There's another, this time a little bit more watery area, could you say, that lines up exactly with the original Loot Lake as well. Now, on the Chapter 2 island, the center was like the big thing, the big focus. Right now, there isn't a named location in the center here. But if you go to the middle, this does line up directly with where Loot Lake used to be. Now, are we about to see Loot Lake built upon here? Because this is technically the center of this island. It does also have all of the new trees, which is awesome. But it actually packs an even bigger secret that I know if you're an OG fan, if you're just a Fortnite fan for any reason at all, it's hidden right up inside those ice blocks. Now, if we go around here, it looks like there's a lot of stuff covered in snow. Look at this. So we've got a truck in there. We've got giant ice blocks. What have I told you? That in these ice blocks is Tilted Towers. Yes, Tilted Towers lines up exactly with these ice blocks right here. And is this snow? Oh, what have you got for me? Another legendary weapon. It's the exact same one I've dropped. I think it is. I don't need two, but thank you very much, Birdie. Tilted Towers, the clock, the building is all hidden within these ice structures. If I can glitch inside them a little bit better to prove it to you guys, I will. But this is why this giant snowy center part of the map is really deeply covered in snow. I can't wait for this to slowly appear, dude. Like, actual tilted, tilted back in the game. It's all of our dreams, Spider-Man and Tilted and Fortnite coming together at one time. I think that's the tower. You know, like the infamous tilted tower because it's pointed at the top, just like the clock tower in the original tilted. It's going to connect to a gas station. And look, Fortnite know how to make us happy, people. What if I told you Greasy Grove was back as well? If I go over this mountain right here... It's back and it's not stupid taco time. It's literally Greasy Grove. It's got additional buildings as well. I'm experiencing this for the first time, just like probably many of you guys are as well. I think it's different. It's a little bit different because there was a play a playground here. That house definitely wasn't there. Of course... This was, this was Durberg. This is Burger Place. It's now been taken over by Taco Time. Oh, thank you so much for letting me in. Hey, look at him. He's jamming out. You're a friend of the foods? Of course I am. I'm not going to hurt any of you. It's the original area up here explorable as well. Yes, it is. Look at that. Look, if you're an OG, you know about that roof spot. Oh, by the way, the reboot fans have all been rebranded to be very, like, the seven, like, foundation and scientist style. They look really, really cool. Oh, my... Oh, dude, dude, dude. I'm giving Chapter 3 a 10 out of 10 right now. It's just so awesome to see. Used to land here so much. If any, oh, basketball pitch. The houses are normally there, so it's a little bit different. It's like a reimagined version. It's not identical, but you don't get much closer. And it's literally called Greasy Grove, people. It's back. We're going to start heading over to the desert area. And as I said, stick around to the end because we're going to show you guys what the map will look like after the winter period. At the moment, there's a lot of snow, as you can see. It's already Christmas themed. I want to go over and explore the desert area. We haven't had a proper desert area like this in ages and ages and ages i'm coming to take a look dude it's so cool to see all of this we thought maybe that when we saw like glimpses of desert that perhaps we'd be going back or getting uh part of the chapter one desert area but this feels very new it's very open this doesn't seem like a prime spot to be landing initially for your chapter three experience if i'm really honest with you is that butter spawn is it Butter Barn? Butter Barn, is that you? The Butter Barn! This isn't even like a named POI on the map. We've just run into it. Oh my gosh. Let's go. We are making our way to like the bottom, most southern part of the map on our journey to. Un whoa, 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 whoa. Why is that so precariously placed there? We're on our journey to unlocking the whole of the chapter three 
Island and a version of it that will be available in the future with no snow that I'll be sharing with you guys. We got to go out there because that looks really odd. But we are making our way into Chonkers Speedway. Yes, Chonkers obviously been the name of the giant tires, the Chonker tires that give you off-road ability. And this place is awesome. This is real. Yo! Potentially 100% guaranteed spawn chance of a vehicle with chonker tires. And they're the fast one. I mean, there's some spots we're already figuring out here. If you want to get good move movability, good loot, like... You know, you're in the right place here watching this video, guys. This full map guide. I'm learning so much with you as we go around. I really hope we see some more car upgrades. It was leaked in the in-game files ages and ages ago. That we'll be able to add things on like spoilers, wings, and different customization for the cars. And for some reason, we didn't ever get it. I feel like we need it, guys. What do you reckon? Hit the thumbs up button. Let me know in the comment section. I think we should upgrade cars even more. How cool would that be? As much as I'm loving the fact that we've got desert finally on the map... I've always talked about the fact that the chapter two map just didn't really expand and, and get the places that we would love to have seen that we got in chapter one. The desert area does seem very open and a very scary way to get around the map. What happens if I break the bottom part? Oh, whoa. Whoa, it's unbreakable. For something that is as precariously placed as that, I guess it makes a bit of sense. Why is there a toilet up here? What is this part of the map? We're now making our way to Rocky Reels. I didn't even realize that it was, this was back in the game. Definitely a like, reimagined version of Risky Reels that stuck around really on the map. Not even just as a name location, like almost as an off name location for ages. This is the Rocky version of it. Yo, oh, it's got a little playground. It's got a giant screen. No doubt shoot it. No doubt we're going to be using this area to display, you know, videos, trailers, secret things within the world of Fortnite. Tons of cars here as well. What is that? Skin being shown on the side there as well. Another one of those blue rocks. Toilets? Anyone need a little toilet break? Well, you can't go anywhere yet. Well, you, can, you can pause the video and keep them watching in a bit. we still got more to explore, guys. And we got to take on the foundation himself to get his mythic. Oh, I'm really happy about it. I did not know Risky Reels was back in the game. The final place to explore in the desert rocky biome is Condo Canyon. After this, we just have one more area that I'm very, very interested to explore. And then the chance to take on the foundation himself. This is sick. Yo, this very much reminds me of Paradise Palms. Very, very much reminds me of Paradise Palms. I like this area a lot. Of all of the desert areas I've been to, I'd say that this... Is, well, you know what? I'd probably start off in Chonky Speedway, pick up a car, and then maybe drive over here. This building... Reminds me of Paradise Palms classy condos. Canyon Plaza. There's a giant shopping mall. Another one of the blue rocks. I'm telling you. Basically know everything and everywhere that you need to go now, guys, from this video. Ah, oh, I remember this being shown off in the trailer, actually. He wants me to get them a gift. I'll get you anything you want. So I'll get you some noms, some PC video games. Again, like, look, not fully constructed. Making me think this place is going to continue to evolve and we'll get more shops right here in the map as we continue our adventure in chapter three. Now, this is the last named location and I'm very interested to look at it. As we make our way back into the jungle biome, this place is called the Joneses. So, surely a reference to Jonesy himself and the multiple versions and snapshots of Jonesy that has been stuck in Fortnite. Now, is this NPC Jonesy? Ludwig? I think this place surely is going to be filled with chapter 3 secrets and easter eggs. It looks overrun. It almost looks like people haven't been here for ages. Oh, there's an underground bit. Oh my gosh, there's a prison? What the heck have all the Joneses been doing here? It looks so destroyed. It doesn't, it doesn't really look like anyone's been here for a while or even been looked after properly. But if it's literally called the Joneses, it's like a crazy camp. Like I'm, someone's about to jump out of me or any second. Can you build and slide at the same time? No, I was wondering if you could slide down and build. That'd be quite cool though, wouldn't it? If you could build... Oh wait. I, oh, it works for a second. 
Just before we take on the foundation, this place is not named, but I did notice it. It's just next to the Joneses area, and it almost reminds me of like Tomato Town esque vibes when it got turned into like the kind of Aztec y temple area. No NPCs here. Good place to loot, potentially. If anything, a little bit creepy. And this, ladies and gentlemen, brings us back in a full circle. On screen here, you can see the complete unlocked Fortnite Chapter 3 map. The final thing I'm going to do is take down the foundation and get his mythic weapon and i'll also show you a future version of the map that doesn't have the snow on it as well i think it's been one of the longest Fortnite videos i've done in a very long time and i decided it'd be one of the most fun ways to explore the map and island with you guys and i hope you've agreed as well looking sharp muscles <laughs> thank you so much the scientist is not who we want though it's the foundation this guy here. Now, I know... Oh, my gosh. Yep. I know that this guy means business. So, I'm going to have to be very, very careful. I may have a legendary version. You know what? This is SMG, I genuinely think. Oh, my. He's throwing rocks. The rock throws rocks at you. I know this guy's got a good weapon. He's got butt tons of health. Oh, let see that. See much health I just lost there? No, don't go want to get hit by that at all. Do not want to get hit by that. Once his shield all disappears, he should be in a very fun... Oh! Run! Um... Whoa! Oh, no, I didn't get hit by that. Wait, is he? I'm... No, you know what? Oh! You know what I said? He'd be in a very vulnerable position. I don't think he will be. I don't think he will be. This is, this is not a joke. He's a lot... He's even stronger. Than I first than I first predicted. Oh my gosh, he's so scary. Please, sir. Oh! Oh my god. I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. I'm not even joking. This is not wait, wait I can use this. Ah! Ah! Wait, I can use this. Here we go. Nice. Chance for me to use a new heal item. As long as I don't get hit. I'll keep on healing. Ah! Ah! My gosh, we did it. The Foundation's Mark 7 Assault Rifle. We can finally use this as well. Wait, heal, heal me. There we go. Oh, that is really cool. Takes a while, but that is sick. Let's take a look, baby. The Mark 7. The Legendary version doing 25. The Mythic doing 26 damage. Oh, look, I'm sorry, buddy. But you're being taken out by your boss's own weapon. Guys, on screen here, you can see the map without any snow on it. It's going to look like that in the future. I'm so excited for chapter three. You see me unlocking the battle pass and more on screen here by clicking. Thank you for using code Allier for supporting me. I hope you've enjoyed exploring with me. It's been so much fun. And I'll see you guys on another video.